guys, what's up? Pick a Brick Productions here, and today we are going to be looking at some cursed Lego Mario figures. So I guess let's just get started with the first one. First one. I guess first we should demonstrate how Lego Mario works. He actually has this these arms that <laughs> can that can switch with a normal Lego minifigure. So uh those are the two first cursed figures so yeah you can see lego mario and his tiny little arms <laughs> it does look super cursed so uh there is spider-man with huge arms uh i see a lot of people making like saying that th that these would these arms would be good for like a knuckles mock from sonic which i think could be good i guess could look pretty cool but uh yeah so <laughs> i just think this looks really funny. Uh, I don't know why I'm not... <laughs> I'm not laughing at this one, because this one's pretty funny, too. Sorry, I just ate. But, uh, so this one's pretty funny, too. But, uh, yeah, this one, just with the tiny arms, it beats this one out. So, now let's look at the second one. For the second batch of cursed Lego figures, well, let's just start with, um, one that's pretty funny. So, here is, um, Karate... This karate um, mushroom here. So there it is. I just put um, all I did with this one is I just literally put um, the mushroom on a normal Lego minifigure body. Sorry if the camera tilted a little bit. So and then you just put that on easy peasy. And <laughs> this one for some reason yeah it's still cursed but like not really. I don't really know how to explain it. It's yeah it's still pretty cursed. <laughs> But, um, not as much as some of the other ones that we're going to get into. Definitely not. So, I guess we'll just take a look at something that's actually pretty cool. It's not really cursed as much as it is just cool. So, so hopefully you guys can see the entire thing here. It's this giant Goomba mech thing that I built using uh, the three Goombas that I do have in my collection. So, here they are. These, um... This cursed Goomba mech here. So, um, you can see it, uh, <laughs> very nice looking, I guess. I don't know, if you saw this thing, would you run away or would you come up and give it a hug? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I would run away screaming. But, um, yeah, so that's it for this one. So now let's take a look at something that you would definitely not go up and give a hug <laughs> to this. Um,. Sorry that I'm laughing so much. Here, I'll try and keep a straight face. So here is the, um, the Monty, Monty Mole bob -omb hybrid thing with human legs. Kind of looks like a weird octopus thing. Um, yeah, so this is really weird. It kind of, um, so you got Monty Mole's arms there. You've got his head on top, and then you've also got these legs over here. His head does actually have posability, which is kind of gross. <laughs> you can see, like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you're just, like, you're just, like, behind him, and then... <laughs> Okay, so I've just been playing with these figures for a while. Okay, so here, uh, I just put um, Monty Mole's arms onto the sides of the bomb arms, which, wow, this is a really cursed figure. Oh, no. Also, for some reason, like, okay, these are the same Lego color, but, like, this one, this leg looks darker than the other one. Can you see that? Like, this is still navy blue. Is there, like, an older navy blue color that's, like, darker than the new one? Uh, let me know in the comments if there is comments on this video, because that's really weird looking. Also, you can stand them up just by putting the feet all the way together. It does look like a weird octopus. So, um, next, we have, uh, this cool little, um, yeah, so, <laughs> here's Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, so there's Yoshi, yeah, nothing, nothing weird about him, it's just normal Yoshi, you know. Just normal Yoshi. So there he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a weird Yoshi um, Koopa hybrid. And if you're wondering where the Koopa parts are, yeah, let's just get into that right so now. So here is my custom yellow Yoshi. <laughs> um, from the front, it actually does look like a pretty cool custom Yoshi, but then turn it on the side. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> uh, this is a 
very cursed figure if you just turn it to the side. Just looks weird. Just looks unsettling. So here is the uh, Yoshi and Koopa hybrids both together. So there they are. Once again, they both look weird from the side. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, wow. Yeah, these look pretty weird. Uh, so what I just did is I just switched the uh, parts that I could and made this one into a yellow Yoshi and a green Koopa, which is not actually a thing. So um, let's just take those out of there and get into the last one, which... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's the last one. Don't really know what my opinion is on this. Here it is. The smiley urchin. So what I did is I just took Bowser Jr.'s mouth and I just put the urchin, like, I just took the actual urchin mouth and took it off and now it's stuck on there, which um, is not good. I'll have to peel that off after this video, so... There is the smiley urchin. Now let's just get a big group shot of all these um, cursed figures. Uh, get them all in here. The giant Goomba mech that barely fits into the frame. Um, so here is all the um, cursed figures that we made today. Uh, this is very inspired by um, Just Do Good's Cursed Lego Mario video. So do go check that out and make sure to subscribe to him. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.